Yeah, and the big story for the day tomorrow is going to be the heat. Tomorrow will be the hottest day of the year so far. We are predicting highs right around 90 degrees, yes, in May in Northeast Ohio. Well, the hot weather might have you thinking about going to the beach and getting in the water, but we have some advice for you. You may want to wait on getting into the water, in fact, for several reasons right now. Here's 3 News reporter Neil Fisher with more on that. As temperatures rise on Friday, beaches in Northeast Ohio are going to look a lot like they did last weekend, as hundreds packed Edgewater Beach to take in the rays. But safety is a big priority ahead of Memorial Day. The lifeguards actually do not start till after Memorial Day for Cleveland Metro Parks, so our staff will start lifeguarding our beaches on Saturday, June 4th. The 3 News weather team expecting a hot and humid day on Friday, but caution those wanting to take a swim because of the temperature of Lake Erie, which is around 56 degrees, leading officials to caution the risk of hypothermia. Knowing that the water is, is not, doesn't match the temperature outside, um, that can set in really quick and you could be dead within an hour. Symptoms of hypothermia include shivering, exhaustion, confusion, and slurred speech. And the Cleveland Metro Parks, which will have six guarded swim areas after Memorial Day, ask swimmers to use designated areas. We really do encourage people to only swim while lifeguards are on duty and in a designated swim area. So if you are going to come to the beach, we do ask that you just pay attention to the water conditions. They can change very quickly. The Northeast Ohio Sewer District advises you not to get into the water and swim right now due to a bacteria contamination advisory at Edgewater Park. However, they plan to reassess the conditions on Friday. I tell you what, it's a beautiful night down here at Edgewater Park, but although those temperatures are going to rise, you should wait for that advisory to clear and remember to have a life jacket as well. Betsy. Well, Neil, I remember you covered the lifeguard shortage in Menor sometime last week, about 10 days ago or so, and I'm wondering if there's also a lifeguard shortage at some of the Metro Parks uh, uh, swim places. What are, the, what are you seeing there? That's a great question. I talked to the Cleveland Metro Parks today. They tell me that they're going to be staffed throughout the summer. So a very good sign if you're heading down here to uh, one of the beaches in Northeast Ohio. Jay. All right, Neil, thank you so much for all that great information.